Hello, welcome. Uh, today I want to talk about a different server case, 8GPU, but one that has been completely obliterated in shipping. And this was a complete write-off. So I don't know if any of this still works. Um, the lid is just completely destroyed. But honestly, the fans look like... It looks like they survived. Um, they look like they're the uh, Delta style, like the Octominer, so they should flow a lot of air. It does have a manual fan controller right up there. Uh, 8 GPU, like I said, compatibility. It does have an M SATA SSD in it already, which is pretty nice. It has 4 gigs of RAM. No idea what sort of CPU it's got. Um, ports. God, just... Oof. Looks like USB 2, USB 3, VGA, and Ethernet. It has an 1800, 1600 watt, 2000? Uh, 2000 watts at 240 volt, 1600 at 110, it looks like. Uh, power supply, so I'm gonna just try booting it up with no GPUs in it to see if it's alive. And I think I have a VGA cord hooked up to that. So we'll give it a go. If it does boot, uh, I may still try to use it. Uh, even though, like I said, it's pretty beat. But if it does an okay job of directing air, it might still be okay. Even if it only had four fans, I think it, it would potentially do all right. So we will see. Well, the power supply is very noisy and it sucks air in. That's really weird. I might want to flip that around. That's just strange. Oh, wow. So it's booting into Windows 10, it looks like. The fans are all spinning on a very low speed. Let's see here. Oh, yeah. Vitro mining. <laughs> oh, man. I wonder what the password is. Interesting that it's preloaded. I might actually swap that out with a, an M SATA that's empty so I can throw Hive on it. All right, Pentium G640, four gigs of RAM, so that looks okay. Uh, I'm gonna try to screw in this PSU a little bit. That's just so sketchy. But it does appear to be functional. So I'm still probably gonna try GPUs in it. <laughs> All right, I'll keep it as short and sweet as I can. I did open up the power supply and I swapped the fan around. That worked just fine. I tried it with eight 3070 Ti FTW3s. It worked great. It drew 10 more watts at the wall than my Octominer uh, X8 Ultra Plus with platinum power supplies. So this is actually pretty solid and it does have four more smaller fans. So these are 14 watts a piece when they're on full speed. Now I'm testing my Radeon 7s in here just to see how it does with Radeon, but everything seems pretty good. I've been straightening out the uh, case a little bit. <laughs> it's ghetto, but it does work. Um, everything everything actually seems okay. The fan controller seems to work great. Uh, onboard, it boots really, really fast. I'm impressed with it. This is booting through USB right now. Um, and yeah, I, I, I have never tweaked a Radeon 7 before, so this is new to me but anyway it is mining away just fine with two 16 gig radeon cards with just four gigs of system memory so uh psu is really loud i don't like that at all other than that this thing is a solid pickup for 200 bucks if you can find them uh oh crashed it anyway yeah that's the power supply man it is so loud Okay, yeah, quick update on that Samsung memory HBM2 card. I did have to up the core voltage from 900 to 915, and I actually decreased the core clock from 1638 to 1630. It seems okay here at, yeah, we're getting 100 mega hash at 198, so the, uh, the mem tweaks are the big thing. So you have to enable R mode in your flight sheet, which I'll show you in a second, but for index, if you have different memory Vega cards, you have to say like GPU zero is Hynix, so GPU zero, and you can hover over here, and Hynix tweak is right in there, you can just click it. And then you have to hit add config and then GPU one, in my case for Samsung, 
and then the Samsung uh, mem tweak is right there. Do that, hit save. Mine's already saved, so I'm not gonna go again. But in your flight sheet, you do have to, and this is for Team Redminer specifically because it has R mode, but this config right here, dash dash kernel underscore VM underscore mode equals capital R, capital R. That is a big deal. Um, that's a power state change for the card, and that is what makes these things so good with ET hash. So there you go. They are happily mining away. Uh, temperatures look great, even at 90%. I never, ever run a card at 100% uh, fan, just because fans cook. But there you go. I don't know if that's more a commentary on the Radeon 7 or this Chinese case, but there you go. Two for one. Radeon 7s are still banging for ET hash, and I think they're actually pretty good for Ergo, too. Um, but they came down in price massively because they suck at core algos. So there you go. I forgot to mention, above idle, they're actually drawing 459 watts together for 100 mega hash each. So that equates to 225 to 678, 228 watts. So they're pretty much exactly the same as a 3080, like a pretty decent 3080 on ETH hash. So there. That's actually what I wanted to tell you.